and we will meet Yeshua in the air. It doesn't say we're going to fly away to heaven. That's what religion says. It says we're going to meet him in the air. The Greek word air is idol. The, the yeah. Greek word for heaven is celestias, just like Spanish. Heaven, celestia. Two different words. There is no rapture. Another holy cow. <laughs> Will you sure return? Yes. Will we be caught up? Yes. But in the air, because this earth is cursed, and we're going to get our new resurrected, glorified, holy bodies, and Yeshua is not going to give us a holy body on a sin-cursed earth. There has to be a clean dressing room. Ladies, you know you're not going to get changed in a dirty dressing room. Especially my wife. So we go to a clean dressing oh, yes. room right there up in the air, and then we're with the master. Wherever he goes, we go. You want to go a trip to heaven? Go to heaven. You want to take a trip back to earth? Go. We're with him. Wherever we be with the master. Who cares? There is no rapture. That's one of the most demonic, demonic-filled, devilish doctrines the, re the religion has ever preached. Because one group flies away, and everybody else gets zapped over the head. The Jews get zapped over the head again. The Holocaust wasn't bad enough. The Jews got to get another Holocaust while the church flies away. The same church that eats bacon, breaks Sabbath, doesn't love their neighbor as their self. They fly away and the Jews have another Holocaust. Thank you. We already had ours. We don't need another one. Exactly. They might try, but... It's demonic. Because it lets believers live any way they want. They're just going to fly away one day. Uh -huh. Irresponsible, everything. Okay, verse 42, look. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all die. We, some of us will be changed. 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we're going to be changed as soon as Michael Jackson's... Oh, you know oh, why you... Hold on a second now. Uh -oh. Let me just... Uh -oh. oh, I'm sorry. Verse 52. First Corinthians... I'm sorry, Vladdy. First, I'll read it right this time. First Corinthians 15, 52. Because we'll all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at Usher's last CD. Oh, <laughs> what you laughing at? You know what he's talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know when all, all my Christian brothers and sisters are going to be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye? Mm -hmm. At the last shofar. Hallelujah. Now how on earth are you going to be ready if you don't know that sound? Look, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last shofar, look, the shofar will sound, notice, and the day will be raised, what? Incorruptible, and we shall all be, what? Changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption. This mortal must put on immortality. Hallelujah. Then, when, then, yeah. when, the, yeah. when this corruptible puts on incorruption, Hallelujah. and this mortal puts on immortality, yes. then, when, then, yeah. then, not now, when, th not now, not right now, then, when, then, yeah. shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed. So what's going to swallow up death in victory? Isn't that what I told you this message shofar. was all about? Yes. Shofar is victory, victory, victory. Victory, victory. Yeshua is coming to destroy Greek culture and, and restore the faith of the patriarchs. Revelation. Revelation 110. Two more scriptures and I'm closing. Giliana. Giliana. 110. Giliana. Revelation. Don't worry. Don't let the Hebrew words frighten you. 110. You'll get them. Somewhere between now and the last shofar, when you sure return, <laughs> you will have all this stuff down pat. Giliana, mm -hmm. 110. Okay. Oh, Father. Now, this is heavy stuff. Okay, I'm sorry, this, I'm going to step on some toes, but please allow me to. I don't mean any harm. Look at verse 10, which is why you always want to wear sandals when you come to service. You never know when the rabbi might step on your toes. Can you hear a good amen? Amen. Matter of, matter of fact, sometimes I step on my own toes. Yeah, that's a bad. And that's really bad. And then you need your wife to rescue you. Say, Moshe, you act like a fool. Stop stepping on your own toes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Revelation 1.10. 
Revelation 1 10. Ready? Mm -hmm. I is John on the uh, Yochanan on the island of Patmos. Patmos. I was in the Ruach, the Spirit, on. Now I'm going to read it from the King James first. You allow me to? I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Ooh. 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 I'm sorry. There is no Shabbat. Rabbi's wrong. I'm sorry, because John, John was in the Spirit on the Lord's Day. We all know that the Lord's Day is Sunday. Not so fast. I was in the Ruach on Yom Yahweh, mistranslated the Lord's Day, and I heard behind me a great voice as of a so far. Two points. Everything John's going to see in the book of Revelation, is these visions of the end times and the great tribulation, he's taken in the spirit and taken by the spirit of Yahweh and fast forwarded in time, and he's fast forwarded in time, so he's in the spirit on the day of Yahweh, and the day of Yahweh is the last seven years of this age. So was he in the spirit on the Lord's day? Absolutely, because the day of the Lord is the last seven years of this age. So the Spirit fast forwards him so he can see the future. How is he going to see the future if the Spirit, the, the Ruach HaKodesh, doesn't fast forward him into the day of Yahweh or Yom Yahweh or the day of the Lord? Yom Yahweh. Amen. You follow me? Mm -hmm. It has to be the Ruach because John doesn't know what, what's in the future. This doesn't mean Sunday worship. Amen. It means I've got to carry you forward so I can reveal those things that are going to happen in the earth. That's what it means he was in the spirit on the day of the Lord. That doesn't mean John converted to Sunday worship. Now look at the end of verse 10. And I heard a great shofar. And look, look, look what happened as soon as he heard the shofar. Somebody starts talking. And who is that someone? Yeshua. Look at verse 11. Right. I am the Aleph and the Toph, the first and the last. Right. What you see, right in a scroll, he's being instructed to record the book of Revelation. And to because and send it to the seven Israelite congregations in Asia. So he's being fast forwarded and instructed to write a book, but before the instructions comes the sound of the shofar. shofar. Mm -hmm. Now, you've heard the shofar today. Now come the instructions. You want to know everything about the future? You got to follow the Torah. Our sages teach us that everything that happened in the Torah mm -hmm. is a prophecy of what will come around in the last days. Example. Let's just pick one, Chris, out of millions of examples. If the patriarchs had more than one wife, eventually, in the end of days, all it's all going to come around again. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter what man does. Doesn't matter what the sons of Greek do. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to the patriarchs, Joseph was lost and rejected, but came back and was found and became and was promoted to king over Egypt, second in command. Mm -hmm. Same with the ten tribes of non-Jewish Israel. You were in the world, you were eating bacon, you were playing with the pigs, you were the second of those prodigal sons, but one day you came home and the father saw you and embraced you and put a ring around your finger and killed the fatted calf and you came back to the people of Israel. The same way Joseph was rescued from the pit and revealed his identity to his brothers, I am Joseph, so it is with non-Jewish Israel in the last days, you are seeing who you are as the other house of Israel and saying to your Jewish brothers, I am Joseph, and I am alive. Deal with me. Amen. Deal with me. I'm alive. I am Joseph. See, everything that the patriarchs did comes around in prophecy in the last days. Can I hear a good amen? Amen. Have you enjoyed so far? Oh, yeah. Uh, good. Now, I have one thing to say to you, and I usually don't do this because I was told never to do this anymore because it was too much of a tease. Okay? But you know how I am when it comes to following some instructions. Uh-oh. <laughs> ready? Duh. Now, you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. You sure? Positive. Now, that was the introduction <laughs> oh. <laughs> to today's message. That was the introduction. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, it, uh, we close with this. Revelation 4 and 1. Gideon, 